hello everyone hope you guys are doing well so today we are going to demonstrate an interesting thing you guys everyone is uh, really suffering with those uh, tv box android tv box that uh, we usually get from some chinese uh, site for example aliexpress or alibaba or shopee or lazada right is just around 15 usd and you get tons of features on it but the problem is when you try to add this mouse and keyboard you need to pay extra some another 15 dollars or 20 dollars today what i will show you guys the important and interesting tea that 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 will make your life easier so that thing today i will show you you can just get and if you have an android phone at home you can get a pretty good mouse and keyboard in your fingertips and then you can use it to write down anything or whatever you want on your android tv box search button or search box and your life will be pretty much easier you don't need an extra keyboard where you need to do a pairing of this uh, this uh, uh, bluetooth and you don't need to do any other another extra pair of mouse or whatever you just need a single app in your existing android phone Today I will demonstrate that I will connect my app with the Android TV box and I will show you how to type, how to select uh, Kodi or select any features YouTube on your Android TV box. So let's get started guys. So to do that you need an Android phone. So here you can see I have an Android Pixel, it's a Pixel 3 in my hand, you can see so what i will do i already have installed the app but i will show it to you how to get the app from android place place Store. so first you go to your play store play store where is the play store go to the play store here you go the play store is here hiding here right so select the play store yes right so you can see there is an on the play store you can see you have tons of app now there's a search bar you go there you write down this i already did it right so still i will search it down bluetooth keyboard so when you do the search with the bluetooth keyboard you will see there is a suggestion the first one is bluetooth keyboard and mouse from app ground io this app ground io one is the one you need there are tons of other keyboard and mouse they are really just bad they don't work so don't bother yourself using any other one this one really works uh, by the way i'm not a developer the developer didn't pay me to do the demo i tried all of those things i installed all of them they just waste my time so i'll go with that let's go i already installed it and here you go i open it here so when you do that when you open the app you can see there is a uh, how, how should i say see it's trying to connect i already have paired it so it's connected so here you can see rk322x this is basically my mx4 mxq4 which i am currently using so i'll show you how easy and how um, easy to use this thing okay so let's do it I will show I will demonstrate it on the on the television itself because this thing is connected right how do you connect it I will show it to you now uh, so this is my existing mouse for the sorry the cable uh, or the remote control for my TV box that I got for free with the Android TV box okay so let's do it so i'll show you how uh, you use it how you do it so first of all here you can see my media box is doing some kind of fishy thing because uh, uh there you go i'm tapping it here right so here you go open the Kodi. okay i'll just demonstrate not probably let's go for the Yeah, right. Yep. So I'm opening the YouTube. I'll show you how easy it is. 
so there is two my keyboard and my thing okay so let's uh, do this one okay so i selected this one now i uh, what i need to do see it's very hard to you know word using this one right so you go there you select the search one right there you go and then what you need to do this is really tedious stuff right then you do a select one okay so see how tedious it is you need to now write down every bit of those things using the uh, this thing okay but let's use our fantastic app that we got for free here you can see that this app has an icon called keyboard right just write down like for example uh, big uh, buck bunny now you can see what i was doing it was automatically typing it down in there and then this is the mouse pad right you can see my mouse is running yeah i will try the 4k this one just to see how it works okay see i selected the big bug bunny just using this one and it's just superb right it started playing in there all right guys that's what it is that's how you do it now i will try to stop it so there is the button is basically the right button what do you do so you just click on it and it will go away see it just that that's it that's how it is it's very easy very easy to use go on now i will show you how did i pair how i paired it i go to the setting select the set setting and there's a bluetooth icon select the bluetooth okay select the bluetooth so here you can see my pixel 3 is already connected so you saw it's pretty easy to pair i will show it to i will disconnect it for to demonstrate for the purpose okay so let's say disconnect okay okay i disconnected it it's gone now okay <clears throat> then what do you do okay uh, i'm on, i'm using the remote here 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 right so i click on it see you cannot connect using that one but see it's connected okay so i'll do another thing i'll show you how to remove this one so go there go next select that one okay i'm using my remote to do it that's why it is so bad here go here and do still forget okay so now you are for, you forget it so it's gone now from my mobile app okay here right this is the pbs connected i will also remove it just to demonstrate okay i forgot it right so select pair new device okay so you can see on the available devices you already have this rk 322x this is the name of the bluetooth for mxq pro 4k okay so i select this one see there is a pairing code in there you see lox says pair okay so on the tv you can see it is basically doing pairing and here it is also pairing so it will take a little bit of time you know how it goes with the android uh, chinese uh, tv box so it's, it will need, need some time to pair with it but when it's done it's done so i'm waiting i'm waiting i'm waiting yeah it will say could not pair that's a great thing this could not be here you go here now what you do you do another way okay so you do the do from the tv box see here the pairing thing comes out i say pair okay now it's working now we are talking about okay so 
whatever it happens you do need to click on the yellow i have seen if you yellow access your contacts and history it works really well so you do select this one you click on the pair okay so now it's connected okay you see this is done it's a done deal so now you go there you open your uh, app and it is connected and then see 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 just working very very smooth so again guys this one is basically your right mouse click so when you click it two times yeah okay so it will go away see it just goes away so that's how it, it, it this is basically your back press okay and you can select anything with this one for directly do the keyboard thingy this is the mouse pad and this is the keyboard just write down something in here it will automatically directly go to the system okay so that's it today take care and enjoy and if any of my videos helpful for you guys please 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 make sure to subscribe okay i need you, you guys i need help from you guys bye bye take care